Today's review is going to be of Rockford the Arcade Game on the MAD label. Let's get it loaded up. A few things to say about this one. Uh, it's a bit of an unusual one in so much as it's uh, an arcade conversion um, from a system called the Arcadia system which was actually produced by Mastertronic to release some arcade games uh, using Amiga hardware. Um, it was actually not really powerful enough to be uh, an arcade system and was a bit of a flop and as far as I can tell from looking on uh, the internet the uh, Rockford arcade game was never actually released in the arcade so this is actually a home conversion of an arcade game that was never released so uh, let's take a look at the packaging while the game is loading and we'll obviously then look at the game right then here's the packaging uh, this is a mad release the first one that I've done and as far as I'm aware, there's only probably two games, maybe two or three, that have this packaging with the logo in the corner there with a big X behind it. Uh, also, you'll notice on this game, uh, it's actually got a different game, an earlier Mastertronic game called Back to the Reality on the B side of the uh, tape. Um, as you can see, this was licensed by First Star, who were the original makers of Boulder Dash. And there's a very uh, multitasking gentleman on the cover there playing an arcade machine and holding up a beam while rocks are falling on him so let's assume that is Rockford playing his arcade game so on the spine you've also got the name of the game again and also a mention of the b-side and on the back we have the screenshots as usual and going into a bit more detail this has got some of the most uh, biggest hyperbole I've ever seen on a uh, back cover, the only true arcade version of the classic game Boulder Dash, developed using all the 16-bit power of the Amiga for Arcadia Systems arcade cabinets. Yeah, as we know, as I already mentioned, it didn't really turn out that way. Uh, so, also, there seems to be some really strange so-called quotes on here. Um, the Game of the Galaxy by Hitchhiking Monthly, ha ha ha. 80 torturous screens to suffer on. Uh, as mentioned it's got the extra game and again even on the inside they, they carry on going on with this um, hyperbole about the game congratulations you have bought the greatest piece of game software ever released I find that slightly hard to believe before even playing it uh, and then further down here they've got more of these silly made up quotes a superior, a superior to me a boulder dash games as man is to the amoeba by evolution express and Five Stunningly Different Worlds by Geographer's Gazette. I just don't get the point of that at all, but there you go. Somebody thought it was going to be funny. Uh, then you've got the obvious uh, game instructions, how to play. And on the inside, more game instructions in a very small font. And uh, controls and the usual sort of bits and bobs. Here's a title screen, I am assuming if there was an arcade game then the arcade game would have a slightly more spectacular title screen than this. Um, functional is an understatement, all it does is really show you the name of the game and how to play it. Uh, there is an option to start on different worlds which you can move the joystick up and down to pick which world you want to play on. Uh, let's start on world one. This game, I've had a few goes of it, and it's rock hard. Um, the guy, now you might remember Rockford, I remember Rockford, um, from the Boulder Dash games as being like a little bug. Um, Rockford on this particular version, or this particular screen, uh, looks like Link from The Legend of Zelda. Uh, so Link is running around collecting these little things with sort of smiley faces on. Um, it's a it's a puzzly sort of game obviously you've got to try and collect them all and uh, avoid getting crushed by the boulders uh, there's a timer ticking down in the top right hand corner of the screen 
uh, if that timer reaches zero then the game just freezes you'll see it sooner or later oh dead mm. I'm not very good at this game I've had a number of goes already let's have another try I have done a bit better than that um, but I just haven't really got the patience for it to be honest uh, the timer goes down really quickly and so far I've been unable to complete any of the screens because the timer runs out before I can collect all the things if you do collect 40 which I'll try and do um, you do get a time bonus uh, I don't know whether I need to release this bug thing here or not but I'll do it it won't make any difference because I'll never complete the level anyway this bits particularly challenging that's coming up here as you'll see um, as you walk up the top of here all these boulders fall down you've got to very carefully pick your way through what's left so that you don't get crushed and the way I did it last time probably isn't going to work this time oh, it might. there we go not too bad and again you've got to sort of maneuver your way around this bit carefully as well there you go I've just collected 40 um, smiley things so I've got a time bonus not enough I might add because I've only got seven seconds left to collect the rest of the stuff on the level now so panic starts to set in the timer reaches zero and everything just freezes no uh, time out or game over or anything like that it just stops you press fire and oh it's back to the beginning and try again uh, graphics wise by the way apart from Rockford looking like Link it's pretty rubbish uh, I must admit I've never really been a big fan of Boulder Dash anyway. Uh, I grew up playing on a BBC Micro before I got my Commodore 64. So I'm more of a fan of Repton, which I always thought was a much better game, uh, much smoother and uh, better scrolling on the screens and uh, nicer graphics and all that kind of stuff. So not a fan of Boulder Dash anyway, but definitely not a fan of this. Um, oh, dead again. You get the idea. Um, I'm never going to complete this so we'll move on to show you some of the other worlds in the game um, all of which are just as frustrating as this one so let me just kill myself off here there we go bye bye link go back to the main menu we'll have a look at world 2 god almighty how bad is the colour clash on this it looks horrendous so uh, what you can't really see very well is that the boulders and the things you've got to collect look almost identical the little sh shimmery apple things are what I'm trying to collect there is one nice bit on this particular screen which is dropping these rocks on that creature thing there uh, wipes out wipes them out and gives you a load of apples to collect oh and I've died again that's enough of that screen Actually, just before I quit out of this one, you'll notice Link looks like a man in a, well, in a funny hat, a white funny hat on this one. Oh, I've messed that up already, I think. I don't really care. So let's have a look at World 3. Well, first of all, the colour scheme's a lot better. No denying that. Um, there's something here which, if I was in Repton, I'd have said is a, is a transporter, but you don't seem to be able to do anything. Um, Rockford in this one is like a little cowboy for some reason. Don't know why. Don't care really. So it's much the same. It's walk around, do all this stuff that is really frustrating. The timer's a bit more generous this time. I'd love to try and just get this guy. Nope, missed him again. Now he's coming after me. Oh, oh, rubbish. Let's now give World 4 a try, or at least a look look at the state of this. Rockford's a spaceman now, um, and there's things that will kill you running around all over the place. I barely got to move there uh, before I got killed. Let's just try again. 
So the things to collect on this one are the uh, the stars, but God almighty, you've got to be an absolute genius to get around this without being killed. As is evident, I am not a genius. Let's just try following these things around. Massively infuriating, yeah. Moving on. So finally, here's World 5. Jesus Christ. The state of this. I think he's supposed to be a snowman on this one, or a skeleton. Um, there's some stuff to collect at the bottom of the screen here. And also some stuff to collect at the top. And then I just don't get it. I don't get what's happening. If you if you uncover the dirt by these taps, you get these red drops dripping down. It says RIP all the way around the screen, which is a good thing for this game. It really should rest in peace. And these things start piling up at the bottom. I just don't get it. I don't get what you're supposed to do. There's just things bouncing around all over the place. So, in summary, um, it's a good job it was never made as an arcade game because it would have been bloody awful. Um, I'm not going to play the game on the other side of the tape back to reality. I'm going to wait till I get the, my actual original copy of that to play. Uh, maybe that would have been a saving grace for this, but charging $2.99 for this would have been daylight robbery because it's terrible. So not worth the $2.99 and not worth any more in my time.